Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is the first in a weekly video series covering unusual rhythmic concepts. Now we're going to talk a lot about Gavin Harrison's rhythmic illusions, rhythmic perspectives, and Gary Chafee's rhythm and meter patterns. To be clear, I'm not going to use examples from within any of these books, as I feel they're incredible and I want you to go out and buy all three of them. Instead, in this series, you're going to find my interpretations of some of the concepts within them. Today's episode is going to cover basic beat displacement. Gavin covers this in the first example of Rhythmic Illusions, but he leaves it at a single exercise. I'd like to elaborate as I feel it's a massively useful rhythmic tool if used confidently and maturely. So let me play a beat for you. Check this out. Just a typical eighth note rock beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... No problem, right? Okay. So let's take the exact same pattern, but instead of starting it on beat one, let's start it on the end of one. Sounds a little weird, right? Well, check it out. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Cool. So that was me displacing the beat by an eighth note. Let's hear it on the kit, but I want you to count to yourself. Like, count in your head, count out loud, just count along. The entire thing that I'm playing is in 4-4, four, four. I'm not changing time signature at all, I'm just moving around within 4-4. Four, four. So count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and relentlessly through what I'm playing. It all works, I promise. Alright, so, for you guys that are working on this kind of stuff, Something that's really important will be keeping your left foot going in quarter notes. So, for example, if you're playing one and two and three and four and throughout the entire thing and not displacing your left foot. This will not only help you feel the pulse when you're playing it, like you want to be feeling one and two and three and four and even when you're not playing on it. And especially important, if you're going to pull this out in a band situation, that is going to give the band something to listen to when you're screwing around with the time. Otherwise, you're going to lose them. It's going to be a train wreck. You're going to get fired. You might even get beat up. Not a good scene. Let's see what it sounds like on the kit. Cool. Now... For all the things that I present coming up, I want you guys to work on them that way. Because it's really going to help your pulse. And that's by far the most important part when you're working on any sort of you know, rhythmic oddity. Is you need to be really strong with that pulse. If you're not feeling it in here, trust me, it's going to sound terrible. So, let's take a look at a different example. We're going to do the exact same beat, but instead of pushing the beat forward within the measure, we're going to pull it back. Cool. Okay, so now that you've got a pretty good idea of what we're doing here, now let's try it, but we're going to throw some drum fills into it to kind of disguise that transition, not make it quite so obvious. This will definitely be a little bit harder to hear, so make sure you're counting. How about we try the same thing, but let's obscure the end of it as well. Instead of coming back in on beat one, when we resolve the displacement, we're going to do a fill over that and come back on the end of one. Now, let's try it with a little bit more of a syncopated beat. Same thing, count, let's check it out. Let's uh, take a little bit of a different approach here. Cool. So 
let's jack up the tempo, try one more, and just move it around a whole bunch. Let's hear it back and forth, and I'm just going to play around with it. this off let's take a groove that's a little bit funkier we're gonna take something that almost kind of has a displacement within it we're gonna take a groove that the first half of the bar is normal and the second half of the bar well we've got our snare drum kicking in on the end of four so it's kind of like we're already pushing there let's take that and we're gonna take that second half of the bar and turn it into a displacement as a fill give you guys some good ideas on how to incorporate this into your own playing and how to practice it. Just remember, it's all about that pulse. You want to be feeling that one, two, three, four. The quarter note, no matter what you're doing over top of it, where you're displacing the beat, that is the most important part. And it's a really good idea to keep your left foot going so that your bandmates don't hate you.